Hey guys, so welcome back. And I am dyeing my hair ginger. I'm so excited. I've dyed my hair ginger before in the past and I didn't record it or anything like that, but I've been just, I don't know if it's a midlife crisis, quarter life crisis, who knows, but I've just been wanting to dye my hair. So I'm using the L'Oreal High Color Highlights version in copper. There's also the L'Oreal Color Permanent Color and it's in sizzling copper. I think that's a little bit more dull in color. So I like the vibrant of the highlight version, but the only downside of using the highlight box is that it is smaller. So you're gonna need more boxes if you have a thick head of hair or just longer hair in general. So I'm going in with, again, the copper in the highlight, L'Oreal high color highlights, and I'm using a 30 volume developer, and I just mix that all together to Basically you want to use two to one ratio. So two parts developer to the high color highlight um, box. And then I'm just splitting it in sections and placing the color. You want to avoid the roots at first. You want to color the end. I usually stay away from the roots about like an inch or inch and a half away from the roots because your roots do emit like heat so it processes the color a lot quicker than the shaft and the ends of the hair so you always want to apply color to the ends and the shaft of the hair first. When applying the color, I kind of just like massage it through, make sure all the strands are coated. And yeah, you don't want to like have any black spots in between. Now, honestly, I'm going to have a little bit of black spots because I, like I said, I dyed my hair copper a long time ago and well, not like a long time ago, but like a year ago. And then I've used box dye to darken the ends. And I just completely forgot that I used box like black dye so when I'm placing this color and realizing the ends are just not changing that much I remember it clicked that I literally have box dye in my hair so your hair is not gonna process like compared to the virgin hair and the box where the box dye is it's just the color is gonna take longer to strip and unfortunately I didn't realize that till it was too late I don't personally care but obviously, like, I think it looked good in the end to me and I can fix it later on. I have no problem, but just be mindful if you do have box dye hair color in your hair that it's not going to process at the same rate as the virgin hair, especially the color at your roots already processes way quicker so it's just going to be brighter at your roots and you want to make sure you process it at the ends or wherever the box dye is way longer or maybe possibly even use bleach and then an actual color deposit instead of just using the l'oreal high color like i did here but after i let it process for i want to say about like a good 15 20 minutes before i added it to the roots and then I just massaged it all through. I didn't even need to really use a mirror. I kind of just know my head and know my hair. So I just massaged it all through and I didn't make sure I didn't miss any spots, but I just go in with my hands, honestly, to make sure that every section, and I kind of split it in half to make sure that every section is coated. But if you feel more comfortable, I would definitely recommend using like the three-sided mirror or going somewhere where you can kind of view the back of your head. And then, yeah, just you just want to color the roots, make sure you get every section, especially like in the front too. Like sometimes people miss their like baby hairs. You don't want like dark baby hairs and then your hair is red. Like, come on. You can kind of peep here, like my ends are still kind of like black a little bit. Not black, but they're just darker. The camera's not picking up. It did turn, so that's why I ended up doing the roots but it just isn't as bright as it should be. Like the roots in the back are already turning brighter than the shaft of the hair. And that's when I kind of knew like, uh, yeah, I forgot I had that box dye in my head. Bam. 
band take a man, but let's see, I can party back and all these bitches fuck. It's big bags, busting out the belly band, take a man, working back, party back and all you bitches fuck. Also, don't be like me. Wear a shirt that you don't care about or like protect your shoulders and neck from the color. I personally don't care. I can just wipe it. I wiped it off with like some alcohol, rubbing alcohol, and it obviously didn't stain. But if you're just like a little bit more worried, honestly, wear something to protect your shoulders and stuff like that. Don't be like me and have the color spill everywhere on your body. <laughs> it is messy. It was messy. Then I just massage the color all in, make sure that just all the roots are kind of taken care of. The ends are covered and coated and sauced. And then I wrap it up in a plastic wrap. Now I'm dyeing my eyebrows. I'm taking the remainder of the dye and I'm just passing that through the hairs using a um, brush of like an eyelash brush and I'm just brushing the hairs making sure all the color is processing and then I clean it up with a little bit of like a q-tip or like eyeliner sort of um, q-tip and that's it guys I feel like I look like heat miser or something like that right now but as you can see like the back like there's no patches guys like except for like the ends obviously where the back uh, box dye was but look oh my gosh it looks even crazier on camera I promise it's not that dark or like the contrast is not that crazy in person but it is like wild to see on camera I'm using my color wow heat protector and then I'm just detangling my hair in sections so I can blow dry it to wash my hair I use the Miel um, rosemary conditioner and um, shampoo obviously didn't film me washing my hair because I wash my hair in the sink real african-american real black real black we wash our hair in the sink I know I'm just like there's this discourse about like who washes their hair in the sink child I wash my hair in the sink but yes that is the look look guys it's not as bad you can see when I strain it it's not like a hundred percent that bad even on the camera and then I promise in person it really isn't that bad but I'm definitely gonna fix it later on but this color look bomb I just feel like it makes me look like tanner too like I love it I love it guys I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you next time guys enjoy bye